Hello and welcome to another Itential demo of JST Designer. In this demo, we will cover the array filter method. For a more in-depth understanding of how the array filter method works, please refer to the official documentation at developer.mozilla.org. This method allows an array of elements to be filtered according to a set criterion without changing the structure of any element. Let's start by first creating an incoming schema for the input array. Copy a sample of the array data onto your clipboard. On the JST Designer, click on the plus button under incoming schemas. Now, paste the data onto the right hand side of the panel and click on the button Infer Schema from Example JSON. Finally, put in a name for the incoming schema ID. Click on Save. Next, let's set an outgoing schema for our JST. Since the filter method doesn't change the internal structure of each of the filter array element, we can use the same schema for the outgoing schema. Just follow the same steps we used previously for inferring the incoming schema, but this time for the outgoing schema. Next, we need to add the filter method. Navigate to the sidebar on the right hand side of the screen. In the search bar on the methods tab, Type filter. Drag and drop the array filter method onto the canvas. Connect a transition from the incoming array to the filter array input. Now connect the outgoing of the filter array method to the outgoing schema. In order to build the filter logic, click on the edit button right next to the callback label on the filter method. Notice how a new tab opens up which corresponds to our callback function. The callback function defines the filtration logic. In this example, we want to filter out all records that have the store attribute set as costco. To do so, we need to use the inequality method. On the right hand side panel, type in inequality, drag and drop the inequality method onto the canvas. Connect the store attribute to the inequality parameter A and hard code costco as parameter B. Connect the boolean return value from the inequality method to the callback's return boolean value. Navigate back to the root JST function. On the filter method, you will notice a this arg input. This input allows you to bring context from the root level to the callback function. In our use case, we didn't use this feature because our filter logic was already hard coded to the string costco. To test run our JST, click on the play button on the left side of the screen. Provide a sample input and click run. Upon execution, a panel will pop up from the bottom of the screen that has the results and the logs. In order to build a more dynamic JST, the filtration criteria can be passed as an input parameter to the JST, which could be further passed to the filtration logic using this arg as shown. This change didn't affect the output of the JST. But now the filter can be dynamically passed to the callback function during runtime. Once you verify the results, name the JST. Download it by pressing the down arrow button on the left panel. To use the newly created JST inside an IAP workflow, place a transformation task on the workflow canvas. Open the task and click the up arrow to import the file. Search for the JST name and then configure the appropriate input. This concludes our demo of the array filter method. For more information, please refer to the Itential dev site at www 
www.dev.itential.io. Thanks for your attention and have a wonderful day.